back fellow budgeters and if you're new to my channel or just stopping by thanks so much for clicking on this video today i'm gonna be working on my long-term savings binder and i'm so excited because i feel like i have not stuffed this binder in a really long time <laughs> um so today i'm going to contribute 692 dollars towards the different envelopes within this binder so let's go ahead and count okay i'm just gonna add a little bit of this really fast And so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 56, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, and then 2. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so... We're gonna start with my eldest niece like we always do. And um, so I, I help save for my nieces. Oops, let me just move that. Um, and I contribute $20 towards um, their envelopes every month, or every not every month, every paycheck. So this is one of my challenges. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and color $20 with the puzzle pieces, um, and then I'll put the money into the envelope. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to leave this to the side to dry, and we're going to add $20 in today. And so now she has $530. My youngest niece is next, and she's going to get the same thing. I'll actually just put in the cash right now. So she should also have $530, which she does. Let's go ahead and color the same puzzle pieces for her as well. I always like to keep it even. Okay, so this will also go to the side to dry since these are laminated. I don't want them messing up my envelopes, so we'll keep those two on the side. All right, <clears throat> you guys, oh my goodness. All right, next is my emergency fund. Today I have $205 that I'm going to be contributing towards my emergency fund. So let's see. So we have 205 So here's the one, two, and the five. Let's see what numbers we can fill in today. Okay. So what numbers do we have left? So we have 32, 28, 24, 20, 12. So let's, let's color those in first. Okay, <clears throat> and so technically I would have been done with the challenge because um, this challenge is also available on my Etsy shop. The way that I made it was that you save the um, you save per week and then you save the number within that bubble. But I decided to go ahead and also save the money within the skulls too because why not? Um, so we still have 89 left. So we can do 26, 25. 24 and then that will leave us with 14. Okay. Oh no. Crap. I forgot you guys were left off. So we said 205 minus 32, 28, 24, 20. Ooh. Mm, was it 16? Or 12. It was 12. Okay, 89. Okay, so we start with 89 minus 26, 25, 24, and then 14. Oof, that was close. I mean, I'm coloring these skulls in really, really bad, but. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so now in my emergency fund, let's put this in. Okay, so now my emergency fund has 1,000, 2,000, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So 2,900, 20, 40, 60, 75. So 2975, almost at 3000. That's wonderful. Okay. All right, next is <clears throat> my home and this is not for this is for my home taxes. Um so today it's going to get 292. Actually, let's do the coloring in first. So I'm using Nita's challenge from um the almost organized owl. And this is money going towards my taxes. So I'm contributing $292 this time around. Let's see. Okay, so 292 minus, let's see, 15, 12, 35, 18, 25, 14, 19. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought that was, <laughs> my finger was in a way. I was like, wow, a six. Okay. Do we have a six? Oh, we have a six over here. Okay. I think I'm going to do the six in like, actually I'll do it in yellow. And so I think we stopped at this row. Okay. Okay. So that worked out great. And so let's go ahead and put the 292 in here. So here is two, oops, 200, 50, 70, 90, and then two. Okay, so let's see how much we have. So we have one, two, three thousand. One, two, fifty-three. So three thousand three hundred, twenty, forty, sixty-five, sixty-seven, sixty-eight. Now I do the next time you guys see this um envelope, some of this money will be gone because I do have to pay for the third increment. Um if you missed that video, they did mess up on my property taxes. And so instead of just having two installment payments, for some reason it's four. <laughs> um, so I did pay the third one, and so I do have to deduct that from this total. Okay, then investing is next, and investing is going to get $5, and so it has 105 All right. Okay, next is new car. Let me get that out. All right, and so this challenge is from my bestie, Jerry, at One Frugal Introvert, and this one is gonna get $50 like it always does. So here's that. And let me get my marker. And so now we're already starting on the fourth row. That's so exciting. I mean, I know this challenge is gonna take me a very long time, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm just hoping that my car lasts until I'm done with this challenge because at least I'll have five grand for the down payment. Um, okay, so new car now has 1,550. Okay, and then last but not least, it's my Roth IRA. And for this paycheck, I'm contributing $100. There's nothing in here because the money that was previously in here, I've already deposited into my Roth IRA. So we're starting all over again. And so, yes, so I'm starting off with $100 for the month of January. And that is that. All right, you guys. Well, that is all for my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you guys are doing well with your long-term savings um, and you guys are on track. Um, 
I feel like the long-term savings isn't as fun because it is long-term, right? We don't get to spend or do anything with the money. Um, it's just sitting pretty in the bank and that is a-okay with me. Um, well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, I hope you will consider liking this video. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you will consider subscribing. And until next time, you guys, I hope you will all take care and be well. Bye.